All right, today I'm gonna to do a video about mowing low flow faucets. So I did some research. I found that these faucets actually have faucet keys. I'll break this package out in a little bit. I bought this package on Amazon for $7.99. It was $8.47 after taxes. I'm gonna use these bad boys in just a second, but what I also noticed is while I was waiting for these, I was like, well, can I, can I just do it myself? Why can't I, you know, figure out a way to unscrew these filters and take the low flow piece off, off of it? So I actually did it while I was waiting on those uh, faucet keys. And all I used was this small Phillips head screwdriver and a little pocket knife. Well, it's not that little, but use a little pocket knife. I'm going to show you how I did it. So the package of faucet keys I purchased from Amazon came with these five faucet keys and they range from 16.5 millimeter, it goes up to 18.5 and then 21.5 and then 22.5 and then 24 millimeters is the last one there. Again, got here overnight, but I didn't want to wait. So I went ahead and used the old uh, Phillips head. And I want to talk to you about that. I want to talk to you about what happened to me when I did use the Phillips head. Um, I kind of uh, almost uh, messed up the faucet's O-ring. So I want to show you what happened there. Okay, I've got two faucets here. I've got one on this side, one on this side. And honestly, I don't believe it really matters whether they're mowing or not. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use the screwdriver on this one first and show you how I did that. It's, uh, if you can see up there, that's where this, these different little carved out areas where the key fits. It's not out here, it's right here. Wait, okay. It's not these out here, it's the ones on the inside here. So, what I was taught when I was a kid, lefty loosey, righty tighty, right? So, if I was going to screw it in, I would be spinning it this way to screw it in. So if I'm taking it out, I'm gonna try and just make it spin this way. So, kind of push on it right here. I'm trying to do this while, uh, I'm also making sure it's being filmed. Ah, you see, it's starting to move. super fast but there we go now that I've got it started spinning around you see the little calcium deposits kind of coming out of it also that would be good to clean off but like I said um, you can do this with just a small flathead screwdriver but there is a, an issue that comes into play that came into play with me and that's uh, with this little o-ring see the you see the blue o-ring right here when I went to put it back on on my other faucets that o-ring started to bind up because I was putting too much pressure on one side so it, it would it bound up when I was screwing it in and it actually came off and was looped on the outside this is the third faucet I've done this to it should come out by now there we go all right 
So that's what the underside looks like for the top that's in here. I guess this is more like, uh, this is what the underside looks like. And this is what the top of it looks like. And this is where you get stuff clogged up in here. This is just um, like a little plastic filter on top and then inside is that low flow device. Okay, this is when the knife comes into play. I tried to get this little top off with my hands, the fingers, but I, my fingernails are really, you know, short. So, hold on a second. You kind of have to stab into here a little bit and then flick up like that. Ah, see how that just popped off there? And there's that this low flow device right there. And it's there's a bunch of crud in it. These just flick out. See how easy that is? Hopefully you can see that. So that comes right out, that piece. And that's what's inside there. Hopefully you can see that. Here's that piece that flipped off the top. It's just a, you know, like a plastic filter. So now I have this off. You see, here's the faucet here. And this will just go back on. Um, maybe there's a little bit of water there. Let's see how it comes out now. Uh, just a little bit of water. And I can put it back on fairly simply. Again, I have to watch out for this O-ring because I almost bound mine on the other faucet and just, you know, I don't want to split it, break it. So you have to, like, try to evenly spin this back on. Again, I'm not using the faucet the faucet keys and it goes on fairly easily I just want to make sure that it there's even pressure That's about it. Works like a charm. All right, now I'm gonna try and see how much easier it is to use uh, one of these keys. First, I have to find the right size. That huge one didn't fit. Oh, here we go. All right, this one seems to fit up in there a little bit. This one seems to it up in there a little bit, I don't know. Hard to do this. And uh, let me make sure I go the right way. Lefty Lucy Dave. There we go, I felt it there. It's really hard to do this and videotape at the same time down here at this angle, but it's coming off. I did have it in there. There we go. There we go. Trying to get you in there. Oh, there we go. It's already, it's already got it off. That was would have been a lot easier if I had two hands, I'll tell you that. So again, you see the, the blue O-ring and this one's already coming off. So here's this one. And I'll do the same thing with this one that I did to the other one. Okay, what I was using was this 18.5 millimeter faucet wrench. And 
I'll use it to screw this back in as well. I mean, you can get it pretty far just with your thumbnail. There she is, and uh, like I said, the 18.5 millimeter or flathead screwdriver. It's up to you. All right, so there you have it. You can either use a small screwdriver. Uh, I wouldn't advise it, but hey, it's doable. Or you could use the uh, faucet wrenches, which uh, aren't very costly. So um, I'd go with the faucet wrench. Uh, even though it was hard to perform that maneuver with one hand because I had the other hand on the camera. And thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click like and go ahead and subscribe. Thanks a lot.